Hello. In this session, I'd like to talk about the menu editor and DPA UI's menu system, right? And of course, we'll do adding of report templates to a menu. And to do that, I will have to also talk about DPA user roles and how the menus work with that. So in the DPA UI, when you do a run reports, you have three steps, select your scope, report template, and setting the time period, right? When you make your selections and select report template, the, this is the default navigator menu. It will actually assess which nodes you have selected in step one and tries to limit the reports that are only applicable to the selected nodes. So not all reports will show up in this menu system, only those that are applicable to that scope. Now this doesn't always ha to happen, but it tries to as far as it can, okay? So in this menu system, this is just the default navigator menu. You can create your own. You can cut and paste from these into your own as well, or you can add to it by giving it a new menu or new menu name. So if we go to report menus, you'll see this default navigator menu is the one that comes out of the box. And you can see that it's not editable. We reserve the right to change this navigator menu upon upgrades. And this gives us the ability to add new templates to it and so on, right? So what you could do is create a brand new menu or take a copy of this menu. Okay. If you take a copy of this menu, it says copy of, we can give it a new name, let's call it demo, right? And we, you can remove folders, you can re rename folders, you can change report labels, whatever you'd like to do here, right? Because it's now your menu. Uh, what I like to do is add an extra folder and call this uh, personalized reports, something like that, right? And I prefer it to be in a separate folder because when you do an upgrade and we add reports into the default navigator menu, it would be easier to take a new copy of the new navigator menu and then just add your folder into the other menu, right? If you start adding main, uh, report templates in the middle of all these folders, within the navigator menu, you're gonna to have to redo all of those changes when uh, upon, after an upgrade, right? So it's better to keep your personalized custom report templates separate, okay? And then in order to add a new report template, so once I've created the folder, you set, select the second icon along to add an item into the menu. Now that could be a report template or it could be a dashboard template. I'll do a report template and let's say I've created here one called workload profile and that's the one I want to add in, right? Give this menu item a name. This does not necessarily have to match the, your report template name. You could have call it my favorites, or I could just call it workload profile, right? Point is they don't have to be the same. Then I will say okay to that. And then it will save this menu structure as demo navigator menu. So when you now go back to run reports, what governs and controls this menu is your role-based access. As you know, DPA has full role-based access, right? So you first have to consider your user roles, right? When you create a new role, you define what privileges this role has, which reporting groups it can access, and which menus it can access, right? So you, this is the new one I created, so you can bring it across if I create a new role, right? You can even have multiple menus. 
if you wish, right? And if you have multiple menus, which one do you want to set as the default? Okay. Once you have set that as a, ro a role, then you would define a user to go into that ro new role, right? So if you define a user to go into that particular role, you set the default report menu here. Okay, so this is what governs what menu whichever user can log in. When the user logs in, this will govern which menu it will get. Okay, I won't actually do it here, but that's the idea. The DPA user role will dictate which menus it can access and then the user preferences of the user will dictate which ones it will, which one will become active when it, when the user logs in. If you're unsure, you go to user preferences, go to report preferences, and you can see which is your default report menu. Now, because I've logged in as administrator, I have the ability to switch between any menu, right? And so I'm going to switch to the demo navigator menu, the one that I just created. And if I go back to run reports now, let's go to scope and let me select networker as my main folder. Now, if I click on step two, it will now pick up the new menu. And there you can see personalized reports. And there's my workload profile. And then I can set a time period if required and do a, do a run report. Okay, so that's how I bring a custom report into the menu, right? And then the menu is controlled by role-based access, DPA user roles. Okay, hope that helps.